uh, welcome uh, back to our YouTube channel. Uh, I'm really, really excited uh, to make videos on ClusterFS. Uh, I've been working on ClusterFS for from a very long time, but I didn't get a chance to make any kind of videos on it. So yeah, I got a chance. Uh, so I have an environment in which I need to set up a, a, a replicated cluster a replicated cluster volume. So uh, in that case, I have uh, I have two servers. One is the storage server one, other is the storage server two. So uh, we will be configuring uh, cluster uh, in the replication mode, replica mode, and we will be in uh, set up, setting up the cluster on the private subnet. Like uh, we will, uh, we have two interfaces on this server. We have two interfaces on this server. One is the public interface. One is the other is the private interface. So uh, all the communication to the uh, web application will going to be happen through uh, public IPs. But uh, um, uh, we have some uh, storage uh, which going to be used. Uh, going to use actually the private interface. So. Uh, all these all these servers are uh, going to uh, connect on private IPs. So we have a private network attached to our servers. So this is our private network. Uh, and uh, we have configured on both. We, we check the connectivity with a, the with a gateway as well. So yeah, we, we are pretty much okay with uh, uh, our setup. So let's begin with the setup. Uh, so uh, first we, we have to update the binaries. I already done some uh, prerequisite steps. So uh, so, uh, to, to, uh, for the sake of this video, uh, I'll be doing all those steps again. Uh, so first we need to update the binaries on the both servers. Uh, then, uh, after the, uh, after updating binaries, oh, sorry, metadata of our, uh, APT server, we need to add the, uh, we need to install the common software, common packages that requires by Ubuntu. So we will be installing them. Uh, all these packages are pre-installed because I'm using the latest version of my Ubuntu system. So uh, we will see all the packages are installed. Uh, the next step, we need to add uh, the repository of uh, ClusterFS. So I'll, uh, for, the, uh, for the sake of saving, saving time, uh, I'm just copying and pasting uh, these binaries. So this will, this will, uh, so I'm just adding uh, our repositories. So now I need to update the metadata uh, again because I just added a, a new repository. So now I need to install the GlusterFS server first. So to install the GlusterFS server, uh, we need to uh, hit. Uh, we need to run the command. If to get installed, uh, GlusterFS dash server. So uh, I already installed, uh, so you won't see. Uh, now we need to enable the services at the startup. So we will be running. Uh, so all services has been started. Now uh, we are done with the cluster FS server. Uh, now we need to check the services system CTL uh, is status uh, cluster D. So cluster D services is running up and running. There are, there are no errors so far. So we are pretty much good in terms of uh, this uh, pre uh, prerequisites installation. Uh, now uh, the idea behind uh, installing. So uh, what we are doing. So what we are doing, we are making all those servers as a client and our all clients, these, this Linux machine will going to connect our cluster FS server using NFS protocol. So we are not going to use uh, our native NFS. So what we will be doing is first we will, you know, we will making uh, each server as a, its own client, like say a storage one will be uh, uh, mounting uh, cluster storage using cluster fuse uh file system uh, uh this will going to be happen on the same uh, for server 2 as well because uh while uh, writing uh, on on you can say uh while writing or using nfs uh if we are uh, using the native file system uh, that will increase the commit cycle commit life cycle so for the sake of improvement in io uh, what we are doing, we are making these server their own client, and then we will be setting up the NFS server uh, 
uh, to export uh, the volumes. So, uh, and all these machines will gonna connect uh, back to these class type of server using NFS, not with the cluster views. So this is this is the change in our uh, in our uh, setup. So now we need to install the GlassDFS client as well. Uh, by default, when we install the GlassDFS server, it it also install the client as well. So uh, we will see we don't uh, we are, the client is already installed. So now it's time to uh, set up uh, some baseline. So we have to set up. Uh, uh, we have to update our host file as well because we we gonna use the private network so we will be using their private ips so yes uh, we need to update etc host file uh, with this ip oops uh yes uh i need to add this over here and i'm gonna use the same name uh for my setup as well uh and i also have this ip so, so this is my server 2 ip and for the server 2 i'll be using uh the server name with two so this is my storage server too. So I'll be using the same entries in my other server as well. Yeah, uh, we are pretty much done with our basic setup. So yeah, uh, now it's time to uh, instantiate the connection between these two servers. So I'm, I'm expecting and making this server as a uh, primary so for this we'll be doing cluster uh, peer group and what is the name of the server uh, let me just cache the our host file so we will have the correct name so yes so uh, cluster peer probe and then our hosting this is the host that we are actually uh, looking to connect. So cluster peer status will tell us uh, our peer is connected. Uh, if we uh, issue this the same command on the other hand, we will see the vice versa. So uh, it considers this server as a primary and it consider itself as a primary. So the next step, uh, we, we need to mount uh, the storage. Uh, so uh, what we will be doing, uh, we, uh, we have our data. So now we, we need to instantiate our, this is our storage volume there where we need to uh, instantiate our cluster volume. So now, uh, we will be creating a replica. Uh, so we will be using cluster uh, volume create. Uh, we can call it uh, store and we'll be calling as a, a replica two. And now we will be setting up the first node name. We are just store to colon slash data and we'll be calling the other server the same way uh, colon data and we'll be instantiating. So, volume create okay, yeah, sorry uh little uh we, we can't we can't use the main volume path so we can we can say uh br zero uh on on the both server uh so it it will create uh underneath directory under data br zero so yes uh so our volume is created successfully so we need to start cluster uh start replica 